Hello there, it's the 21st of August 2016. Dan here from Essex United Kingdom down in the allotment on a lovely evening. What a great way to spend an evening, eh? It's really sort of nice temperature tonight, it's sort of probably about 20 degrees, a nice breeze, nice and refreshing, and uh, I thought I would just show you what I've been up to. So, as my regular viewers know, under here is a load of horse manure. Here you go, you can see clearly what I've got here. Okay, so we've got the cardboard and then the horse manure on top. And underneath the cardboard you can see that I've got the old uh, grass here. Now I'm not going to uh, dig this or anything like that. I don't think it's necessary. So what this carpet will do is proceed to help raise the temperature. Of course the rotting manure underneath the temperature will raise anyway, but with this manure sorry with this carpet on top this will then proceed to increase the temperature more acting as a catalyst and thus contributing to the decomposing process of the manure and next year this will make a really nice growing medium now I've had many people or not many but a few people so far have said oh you know that manure is too raw etc etc it won't be suitable for you to growing the next year well I tell you it will be suitable it will be very suitable indeed this as a growing medium I know this because I've seen it done before and I'm going to proceed to cover up as much of this allotment as I see fit like this in order to create my growing beds for next year but what I am going to do probably over here I'm thinking of is I want to put some gooseberry bushes in I've got two or three bushes at home, I might even have four, yes I think I've got four. I'm, they're Hinnomaki Green and Hinnomaki Red, I believe that's how you pronounce it, and I'm going to put them in here, because this allotment I want it to be sort of a, a multi allotment if you want to call it that. I want to have sort of a variety of fruit, veg, all different kinds. I'm going to maybe even put a few sort of fruit trees in. I know I have to get permission from the council, which I completely understand with regards to this, but uh, they'll probably only be dwarf ones. But certainly going to have some gooseberries. Might have some red currants, some black currants, and raspberries, maybe even some strawberries, that sort of thing. I'm not too sure. Certainly going to have a lot of brassicas down here, in a brassica cage, of course. I don't fancy the old cabbage butterflies getting them, as you know, we all know that this can happen. But things are going quite well down here actually, I'm quite happy with uh, how things are going. Of course there's a fair degree of work going on and lots of work to do but um, you know I'm happy about this. It's good exercise for me and I hope you guys are enjoying the how to create a no dig allotment series. I've got this here, found this uh, plant in a pot, I'm not exactly sure, I think it might be a blueberry actually, but, or something, oh no it's not a blueberry is it, I don't know what it is, but whatever it is it's not good, uh, certainly not healthy, but uh, it's acting as a great weight to stop the wind blowing this um, carpet off, okay, take care, speak soon.